What it do, guys? What it do? Your boy is back on the grind one more time, and your boy is out in traffic right now up in Georgia. Good old Georgia, man. This thing's been a, a great workhorse for me. Um, my original plans for it was to actually do some content on it. Uh, I wanted to do some upgrades to it and everything, and uh, that obviously didn't go as planned uh, just because, well, I think a lot of stuff with you know everything going on in the world right now and then like me losing my job and all that kind of stuff at the beginning uh, I really didn't have the funds and I really had to save everything uh, that I was getting at the time when I was started to work for myself and train on the side it kind of put Georgia uh, not really on the back burner because I didn't really have too much plans for it, but I thought it would be good additional content for the channel but anyways maybe next year sometime possibly after we get married uh getting a truck so you guys stay tuned for that um uh, as um that approaches we'll see uh kind of what i can get i i rarely have ever i think maybe gosh have i had a new car i don't know if i ever really ever had a new car before so um i've always bought used or really good used, but yeah so we'll see i don't know guys uh, we'll see what where this comes to but in the meantime george has been nice and good for me but uh we are on the road it's almost nine o'clock uh pretty much kind of morning rush hour traffic here in the uh pacific northwest you guys can see uh not terrible right now i thought it'd be uh, a little bit different content kind of take you uh with me to work today as we are going to get a package a little later on today uh so i think i think my uh Sandman jewelry came in, but we'll see. So, cool thing about here on this freeway is we actually pass the Seahawks uh, facility up here. So, let me flip this camera around real quick. So, I don't know if you guys can tell or be able to see there's a building right behind those trees. And I gotta concentrate on the road and try to film at the same time, especially right here, man. People get on and it gets always backed up. But let me see if I can get that. If I can get past or away from this truck. So right there, you guys see that 12? That's where the Seahawks practice. Oh yeah, I'll try to concentrate on the road at the same time. But yeah, I forgot what they called that building, but anyways, fun fact, that's where they practice right there. And uh, we're not good this year, so. <laughs> can't see anything it's actually right on the water so in the uh, spring and summertime mainly in the summertime a lot of the players that stay here uh, and they stay on the water then some of them have houses on the water here in Lake Washington like Russell Wilson and uh, whoever they actually will drive their boats um, from their house all the way to uh, to where they practice at to their facility so uh, I think that's pretty dope so sometimes you'll see them running around here uh, you know just running outside or, or whatever so it's pretty cool they're usually out in the community and whatnot but the crazy thing is is I played football in college but I really don't follow it like that I watch the games and whatever but I'm not one of those ones that play like fantasy football and know every single stat and all this about players uh, I'm not really like that. I just, you know, I just like to watch, you know, good games when I can. So, uh, anyways, one other fun fact about that as well is in college, uh, they, before they built this place to uh, practice in their facility, they used to actually uh, practice at our college uh, when I played uh, college football. So that was cool. So when when the season was approaching and they went to uh, to spring camp or uh, you know OTAs or whatever. They actually used to do that at our school, so we used to actually train with them a lot uh, and hang around them a lot, and we used to always take advantage of of their facilities, their equipment, uh, all the perks that they got. Anyways, enough with that. So we are actually on, my, on the way to my work. So uh, if you guys don't know where I work, I own my own gym. So I'll kind of just show you that uh, real quick uh, as we go up to my work. And then I have to teach and train some people. I have a class that I have to do. Uh, so after that, we will go back home and that's when we will uh, try to see what package that we got. Hopefully, I think it's my Sandman jewelry, Sandman designs. And, uh, and then we'll do the unboxing on that as well. So you guys stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing, hitting that notification bell, all that good stuff, y'all. I am restoring 
1971 Chevelle pretty much from the ground up and uh, we are um, in the fun stages of putting it back together and man oh man it is gonna be a real nice ride by the time it's done so you guys stay tuned while I gotta concentrate on this traffic so here you guys we are rolling up to where my gym is and this is the building the two towers this is where my gym is and my gym is for focus my gym is right there right there where that sign is so we are walking up right now to where my gym is and this area here is actually considered the uh this whole area really is considered the nicer part of town but my gym's right there in this building they are doing construction everywhere everywhere right over here they're actually building supposedly the Amazon World Headquarters. So supposedly right there, they are building it. Uh, they're supposed to tear this down over here and put up another tower, but uh, Amazon and tech in general is huge here, huge. So uh, we, are, um, we are definitely in a up and coming, thriving area. And once they get that built, man, hopefully we'll uh, benefit business-wise uh, from them building that. And just as things start to reopen, um, hopefully uh, come early next year, we'll be able to benefit from, from that. But this is a really nice area, you guys. Uh, I or we couldn't afford to live here, <laughs> but uh, we came into an opportunity to get this gym. And it was a deal that literally we could not pass up, we could not refuse. So uh, we could, we had to do it. We had to do it. We made it happen. So let me go ahead and uh, put this phone down. Let me get inside here, and then I'll uh, show you around real quick. All right, you guys, real quick before I have to set up for the ne this next class. Uh, so yeah, this is it. You come in. We got a full uh, composition and body scan here. It tells everything: your body fat, all kinds of stuff. It tells you pretty much everything and anything that's going on within your body as far as muscle mass, skeletal mass, fat water weight, all that stuff. Uh, tells you how much calories you should be eating as well. Uh, all kinds of stuff, gives you a printout. My lady, you know, she likes Christmas, so she hooked up all the Christmas stuff. We usually have some sort of advertising there, but uh, I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, walk in, people can put their stuff here. They sign in right here. And then this is pretty much it, you guys. This is pretty much it. So, uh, rowers, rack, bars, weights, plates, turf, all kinds of stuff, you guys, all kinds of stuff. So um, today we are doing a what we call a mystery workout. It's kind of a specialty workout, so they don't really know what the heck's gonna go on. <laughs> but uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be pretty dope. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I gotta get set up for this class. Uh, but when I chime back in, we'll be heading down to see What's up with that package and see if we got that jewelry. It's about an hour and a half or so later and your boy is uh, right near the UPS store. Uh, and we are about to pick up this jewelry. I'm hoping it's the Sandman jewelry, man. I've ordered so much stuff, I'm not sure. But like I said, it didn't give me any, any clear indication where it came from. I know uh, Sandman is in Tennessee, but the stuff says it's shipped from Illinois, so. I don't know y'all, but uh, we're about to go up up here and see if uh, it is what it is and what I'm hoping it is. Uh, but yeah, UPS store is right over there. So let me go ahead and concentrate on this road, turn in, and then I'll jump back in. All right, y'all, so no luck. Uh, I didn't even get a package. I don't know, man. Sometimes I understand customer service, so that's why I'm usually nice, but these past couple days, as far as me going into uh, stores, has not been, not been good. I think that they have packages in, they just haven't sorted through them yet. Uh, they asked if I could come back after one. So I'm like, I was trying to avoid another trip uh, because I have stuff to do for work here at home and uh, I didn't want to leave again, but she was nice. She was apologetic and was like, sorry, we just haven't got to them yet. So anyways, looks like the packages are gonna have to wait I have to go up in here and uh, teach this online live class that I do online. So 
I guess I'll see you guys here in a little bit and hopefully we'll have the package in hand. All right, you guys, let's try this again. Going up here to the UPS store. Now it has been a few hours later. I purposely waited for a while and got some stuff done for work so I can come up here and get to this UPS store and uh, in hopes that they would have had all that organized by now. So uh, I got about an hour and a half before I gotta leave to work. So hopefully we can uh, get this package, see what it is. We are rolling up to the UPS store and shoot man, let's see if they have this package. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here we go. So, as you already can see, I am in the garage. And yes, they did have it. And yes, it is what we thought it was. The Sandman Designs Jewelry. True unboxing. I've never seen any of this in person uh, ever. <laughs> and, you know, I've only seen them on other cars. But uh, I'm going to just unbox this and kind of show you guys what I got. I am in my shorts. It is cold as heck out here, but I'm bringing you guys this footage, you guys. I'm bringing you guys this footage. So, I got a variety of things in regards to dressing up the Chevelle, and so, uh, shoot, here we go. We got some door strikers, and this is all billet, you guys. Billet aluminum, billet made. As you can see, very decorative pieces here, you guys. So, uh, here's the theme right here. So you might ask, well, you have black chrome and no chrome on the car, so why did you get this? Well, my idea was, well, I was even thinking about this because I knew I was gonna go black chrome on the outside and I was even thinking about doing the very little chrome or stainless that I have inside. Uh, I was also thinking about doing that black chrome, but I thought that it would be a nice, a nice contrast, a nice, different look just to kind of have everything in the inside uh, billet aluminum and or chrome or silver colored like this so that way when you open the door you see the bling of the jewelry and the door jams things like that uh, and then whatever else is inside uh, chrome looking because also I have my door panels with that aluminum colored uh, decorative piece on the door panels as well so you know what might as well leave everything uh, chrome colored in there as far as trim goes or anything like that. I also etched around my dash, my stock dash, uh, a uh, aluminum colored as well. So might as well just keep it as is. So that is why. But yeah, look at this, you guys. Ooh -wee. Two of those, two of these. Man, <laughs> this is gonna be super dope. All right, coming up next, I got a, uh, a uh, light switch little toggle little knob again a billet piece very nice very nice so this is uh to my understanding made to stock spec it looks the same it even has a little indention there where it kind of hooks and latches into the uh uh it's the light switch so you got that there what else did i order oh a little brake release here it's already torn but yeah nicely made uh, and they give you all the instructions to kind of take it all apart uh, I think the brake release uh, stock one you actually have to basically cut it off and tear it out so uh, since this handle piece is, is like a plastic or rubber I think they have you like tear it or like cut it down and then kind of like tear it off um, and then I think you cut it uh the uh i think you cut the bar the brake release so that the handle part of it you cut it and then you uh, put it in here and then you just turn these little um screws down and that's what kind of keeps it on so i'm not if i'm not mistaken i've seen that on one of their directions so I, I think it was for that as well and then these are just like your hardware pieces uh i'm not exactly sure what this goes to it might go to something else that i have inside of the box so let's see so i got i got a whole uh like steering wheel column and uh turn signal 
and a tilt um, little knob or latch or shaft uh, kit. So this right here, uh, although my setup is a floor shift, uh, I wanted, I really wanted these pieces and they didn't sell them separate. So I thought what would be dope is I still have uh, the, well, obviously I have the Caprice and the uh, Skylark. So I thought that I could use this piece uh, for one of those cars. And so actually let me pull this out so I can kind of show you guys what it looks like. So we have these right here. Again, pretty nice pieces, you guys. Again, all billet. And I think, from my understanding, they make all this in-house. He, like, has all of his machines there where he kind of cuts it and puts it all to fit. Oh, man, you got even the hazard button. I didn't even know it came with that. Yep, you got the hazard. Little knob. That piece. You have your turn signal. Yep made specifically for a body i'm sure they could cross over into you know b bodies and stuff as well and then you got this piece right here now i know there's a lot of other manufacturers that make uh this kind of stuff too but man Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh -wee. nice piece right there y'all nice piece so got that there yo christmas done came early for your boy christmas came early for your boy all right, let's see what this is. I feel like I'm rolling it out. You might as well just drum roll, please. Oh boy, oh boy, one by one, one by one. Yeah, buddy, so you got your, your door louver vents here. So this is a, a, something I definitely wanted because like I said, when I open the door, I want this car to pop. Everything on this car is new. Everything on this car is touched, man. And uh, whoo, it's gonna be super nice. So you got the Sandman Designs logo there, and man. <laughs> Your boy's coming correct on this build, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And I think this is the emergency brake paddle. Yeah, nice piece there as well. Very, very, very nice piece. Uh, what else? Got my brake pedal. And come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. <laughs> you got the Mr. Griffin 23 inside of the brake pedal. What? Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. But, but check this out. Check this out, you guys. Check this out. So you know your boy had to tie his his fitness brand into the build somehow, some way. Come on, y'all. What's that say right there? Rep. Because I'm rep choosing Representing Renegade Elite Performance in the build and on the gas pedal. Because you know, man, all gas. All gas when I step on the gas. Man, 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 man. Your boy, your boy has his logo. Your boy has his logo on the gas pedal. Come on, man. Come on. Man, you talking about building a brand? You're talking about building a brand. I'm putting this on everything, y'all. But yeah, this is it. This is it. Hold up, hold up. And you know your boy rocking his brand. Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. Woo! So you guys, get in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you think about these pickups right here, man. This is, whoo, 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 whoo. This is lovely. This is lovely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this stuff out of the plastic, lay it all out, and then I'm gonna do like a, like a panning over all of it with the video camera so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. And then uh, shoot, we'll close out the video. So hold on. One more. <laughs>
right, you guys, so here it is. Man, let me know what you guys think. Get in the comments right now. Let me know what you think about this jewelry, man. She is gonna look so nice all dressed up with this, y'all. Man, I'm super excited because you don't really see stuff like this added to, to, to uh, the uh, car community around here. Uh, around here, it's really big, like kind of like your more classic uh, style old school cars, which is fine. I love anything old school, automotive, whatever. But to be able to put my own flair and my own uh, thoughts and, and just everything into this build, man, this is going to turn some heads for sure. So um, there's definitely all kinds of builds out here, but I, I wish the, the, uh, the car community around here was just a little bit more verse. But with that being said, the type of build that I'm going to uh, will, will stand out a little bit. And there are people around here who, who have uh, their own taste and their similar style builds, kind of like what I am doing. Uh, so uh, I actually plan to meet up with some of these people as well as I've connected with them through Instagram, YouTube, things like that. So hopefully we can get together next year as we've been talking about it for quite some time. But this will be a nice, tasteful addition to the car scene and period, just in general, you guys, I think this car is going to uh, definitely make a name for itself amongst uh, the Chevelles everywhere. So uh, I'm not saying it's gonna be the best. I'm not, I'm not talking about anything like that, man. I'm just building this car how I want it and I'm super excited about it and that's all that really matters. So anyways, you guys, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this right here. I gotta get out of here, I gotta get to work, I got people to train, lives to change, and shoot man, that's what I do, all right? So, if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely think about subscribing, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff, y'all stick with me on this build. Man, more parts to come, I think I got another part coming tomorrow, and there's another part on back order, so I probably won't be here for about three to four weeks. I have another part uh, that's also getting put together right now, that should be here hopefully in a couple weeks, man, we are putting this build together. It is going down. Mr. Griffin 23, out of here. Deuces. Peace out. <music>